Welcome, friends, to this podunk backwoods world that we Slickix's Raiders have been contracted to go to to hunt down some member of Joe's party. Everybody say hi to Joe. Joe, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Um, some member of his party is important to our employer. So we are here to not only deal with them, but also because we are almost out of gas. So we got to fuel up the ship. So we have fuel barrels scattered about the board we can pick those up with a use action and if we run them off the board we get credit for it the model is out of action but not dead doesn't count as dead or anything and while you are carrying them your speed is reduced by one to a minimum of one and you can only carry one at a time let's make a 2d6 initiative roll to see who's going to go first rolling the marble and cyberpunk dice i got a five Joe got way more than a five. So Joe has the first activation. I'm gonna go first. Eagle Eye is gonna be up first and up to the corner of the build. I'm gonna go with Elvira, who's gonna start with a move to ride there. I'm gonna go with Felix next, who's gonna spend one action to move. Again, when you activate, I haven't mentioned this yet, this game, you get three actions. Ending here, line of sight to there spend a command point to dodge away with that model. dodge allows you to move out of sequence one stick away to try to get out of line of sight when you are targeted by shooting action this is where he ends right. up third and final action i'm going to spend a command point to power up and i'm going to shoot at this other fellow that is back here that i can see all right i can re-roll this two into not helpful, so that is a miss. Crank the tank, gonna be moving. Use, use action to pick up the item. I'm gonna go with Slickix, who's gonna be doing a triple move. Down to the fuel cache. <laughs> Attempting to cast Prescience, Joe is, with a seven. I got two D6 as an unopposed roll to try to prevent that. I do not with a four. Man moves up two. I'm gonna go with Ichiro. Three moves to right up there. Activating back here. Double moved up to there. Basher will go next for me. Movement to here. And then we'll take a shot here. All right. Shots. I got a five got a to his six. I don't have any rerolls on his weapon, so that is a miss. Two moves brings him, our samurai friend, up to the crate barrier here i am going to fire over overwatch with elvira all right not a great shot but we'll take it well, that's an 11 to a five that will hit and it will double him when you hit someone you consult this we doubled their defense roll so we get under fire plus one and then over here he's gonna roll on here and we're gonna add plus two to it because my weapon also it adds plus one that's a 10, 11, 12. He's, he's out of action. He's always out of action. Left for me is Dagda, who's going to scurry about a bit. This guy firing overwatch on Dagda as she cuts across this alley right here. 17. He's got a good roll. I've got a not so good roll, so that's going to definitely trip. Plus three to this roll. That's a... Seven, ten will be out of action. I have a command point left over, so we're going to both use it to regroup to get plus one to our initiative. I got a seven. He got an eight. I'm going to go first. This fellow going to fire at the gunner. I'm going to use an action, a command point to dodge. Back to there. I'm going to start off with Felix, who is going to open fire at the guy on the corner of this yellow building right here, which just so happens to be... Joe's leader. My D10s versus Joe's D12s. Gets an 11. To my 18. Getting a 7, which is down. There, I will shoot at him again. Because why not? Uh, it's a 7, so 14. I lose one. You don't, yeah, you don't get the benefit for the cover because when you're down, you do not count as touching terrain or other models. To an 11, 14, that'll hit. Uh, 
That's good. Two is is return and fire. I'm gonna shoot at him again. Last action. That's a 16. That's a pretty good roll. Can I dodge? No. Seven. That'll double you, so at plus one. So that results in a down and stagger. Now the way that I'm reading and understanding this with the condition progression, which is that if you're down and get another down, you're staggered as well. And if you're staggered and receive another staggered, you're out of action. So he was already down, and then he received a down and staggered result. So he the because he's already down, this down would put him to staggered, and then this staggered would remove it from play. If that's if we're off on that, let us know. But I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Please let us know in the comments if we're doing that right or wrong or whatever else you got going on or want to talk about. And the play will pass back to Joe. I'm gonna spend a command point to hustle and get himself off the board. I'm gonna go with Basher next, who's gonna move up one stick. I'm gonna shoot at this goon right here. Moving to right here. And then Joe is going to declare his Overwatch. Oh, there you are. They ended up on my side. They did. All right, my sh my defense roll is a ten. I got a plus one, and I got a to his five, so nothing. Shot for Basher is a seven. Not great. That's right, so going to block, and we got one more shot. That was a 17, that one's pretty good. To an 11, so you you stopped me from doubling you. Yeah. So just straight 2d6 on the effect. Seven is gonna be down. He is all down and out. Moving two sticks to here and then using one action to pick up the fuel. I'm going to go next with Ichiro. All right. Uh, eight to a six. six so that will hit uh hold on hold on nope can't re-roll the two just the ones so you're plus one to your under fire Ten. 11 so he's out of action the precious fuel i'm gonna catch him mid movement while he's not touching anything and overwatch him into command point there to power up one to boost his dice type for his defense roll I got an 18. <laughs> That's a triple. That's a triple, my friend. Oh, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's another one just got domed coming around the corner. You win. I feel bad at this point. Like, <laughs> it's it's, I've, I've, I feel bad. So I can't help it that she was just a monster of just doming people with the snips today doing 360 no scopes oh. jumping around here. So yeah, that's gonna be a hearty handshake for my good friend, Joe. Yeah, um, Joe, thanks for coming in. I feel, man, I feel bad for whooping you this bad, dude. I'm sorry. I feel like this, I'm sorry. It's just, God bless. The dice were with me today and they just weren't, they just weren't on your side. But that's the way it goes, man. Thanks so much for tuning in, hanging out for this bloody game of re trying to get fuel and space weirdos. I appreciate you so much, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day. <laughs> this was